All right, let's get to prenatal development. Out of the seven theories we defined, the only one that's really playing a major role here is really physical development. And that's because there's a lot of majorly physical stuff that happens. It's important to understand that prenatal development is not just one chunk of time. We often break it down into three segments. The period of the zygote, the period of the embryo, and the period of the fetus. So it's important to understand here that prenatal development really starts when the egg and sperm meet, and that's called fertilization. And when the egg and sperm meet, that's considered to be on day one of the period of the zygote. And then as we follow the two weeks of the period of the zygote, we actually follow as how uh, the zygote starts off as one cell. It splits into two, then four, then eight, then 16, then 32. And about five days after fertilization, this little zygote now reaches the end of the fallopian tube and enters the uterus. Around day seven in the two week period, it starts to attach to the lining in the uterine wall and it starts to implant. This is when, when there is a blood exchange between the zygote and the parent. And now the parent's body may realize that there is a pregnancy. Then by day 14, the implantation is usually complete. And that's usually when a positive test score can be found on a home pregnancy test because now there's enough hormones and enough recognition of the pregnancy. So the period of the zygote is extremely quick, um, very fleeting, and the cells in the zygote are usually not so specialized and it just looks like a homogeneous blob of cells or a blastula. And then we get into the stage of the embryo. The stage of the embryo lasts two and a half months. At the beginning of the embryo, it's, we start off as just sort of a cluster of cells. Then the cells start to specialize. Then for a period of time, human embryos actually kind of look like worms. And that's because it's mainly our neural tube, our nervous system that's developing first. Then as we start to more specialize more, we begin to sort of look like lizards or tadpoles. And we actually have a tail for a certain amount of time. So what I've drawn here is what an embryo at about four weeks post fertilization would look like. And so the pink part here is the embryo. We have a yellow umbilical cord attaching to a red placenta. The placenta is an organ and the purpose of the placenta is to absorb nutrients and take away waste products. And so it's what's really attached to the parent's uterine lining. This lighter blue bubble, that's the amniotic sac. And that's really a fluid filled sac that cushions the embryo. Now the period of the embryo is a really sensitive time. This is when a lot of stuff can go wrong. And this is where we see a lot of that differentiation from simple to complex occur. Our eyes start off as just little black light sensors, and then they eventually develop into more complicated organs. Our hands start off as just little nubs, and then they get larger and larger. Eventually our tail disappears, eventually we look less lizard or tadpole-like, and eventually at the end of the stage of the embryo, we actually look quite human-like. And that's when we enter the stage of the fetus. So in the stage of the fetus, this lasts about six months, we tend to look pretty human-like. We have fingers, we have toes, we have ears. And the purpose of the stage of the fetus is really to mature our nervous system, mature our digestive and respiratory systems and cardiovascular system, and to put on weight and get fat and get bone growth. And so that's really what's going on there. Now, importantly, we can see a pattern of cephalocaudal uh, growth. We can see here that the head really specializes first in the stage of the embryo. And when we're born, our, our brain actually contains almost all of its nerve cells. Our nerve cells in our brain actually tend to develop between week nine and week 21 in the womb. That's when we tend to get all our brain cells. And so our head really does develop before our legs. It's very common that when we're born, our legs are just little tiny things. Our knees are like rubber and cartilage, and there's not much to them. Now, aside from physical development, there definitely could be the impact of the environment going on here. And it's important to understand there are things known as teratogens that can influence our prenatal development. Teratogens are harmful influences, and they tend to be broken into three categories. First, there's diseases. A lot of sexually transmitted diseases, such as herpes and HIV, as well as things like Zika virus can really impact our prenatal development. Then there's drugs, things like alcohol or cocaine, definitely, but even some over-the-counter prescriptions like aspirin or some antidepressants can impact our pregnancy. And then finally, there's toxic chemicals. 
often found in heavy metals or household cleaning products could definitely impact and harm the development of an embryo or fetus. And so it's important to understand there's a lot of really interesting stuff going on at this stage.